Hello Brickmaster101 to bring you this new Lego movie set. Recommended ages are 7 to 14. Package number is 70802. Package name is Bad Cops Salt. It retails for 40 Australian dollars and 20 American dollars. I really like this set and let's get on with it. Here is the front of the box. And here is the back of the box. Let's get on with the instructions. So here is the instructions. It's a pretty ordinary size for instructions and stuff. And it comes with 58 pages of building. And let's get on with the minifigs and the set. First minifig we get is Emmett. And he is used a lot in these sets. But he is still a great minifig. So here is the front. And here is his other double side face that's scared. We'll get on with the back printing right now. So so he does come with the piece of resistance and a good head mold there. So here's what it looks like without no with the piece of resistance on, sorry. So I'll get the piece of resistance off right now. So here is the back printing. So it's fairly simple but still good. And that is the piece of resistant, and that is the part where it clips on. So if you were just wondering if it was one mould or two, it's one. So now we'll get on with the main minifig. Next minifig we get is an exclusive and a fantastic minifig. It's back up. So I really like this minifig a lot. I like, it. I like how his badge is on there. And it's a minifig's head. The blast is good. His face is really good. The, it's just an alright minifig that's made it over the casual but not excellent. So he's a really good minifig. So here is his first face of bad cop. And here is good cop. And good cop is a really good character in the movie. And this face is just really cool and funny. It looks funny and stuff. Just how the eyes are there and the smile's weird. Just really good. And he does come with some back printing. I want to point out, with Scribble Bad Cop, he has the same front torso printing, but no back printing. I don't know why they did that with the minifig that you can get in the pack, but surprisingly, they did that. I have no idea. But now we'll get on with this. First thing we get are some crocodile police. Thank you, Lego, for bringing back the crocodiles. I think the last time we saw them were in a Lego Indiana Jones set in 2008. And the crocodiles are just really good Lego bricks. I really like Lego crocodiles. And thank you, Lego, for bringing back Lego crocodiles and their police crocodiles so it even makes it more funny. So um, let's get on with this one. He can go away. He's, the tail can move up and down, no sideways, and the mouth can move up and down. And he has police things. I think they're robot uh, crocodiles. I'm really not sure. Now let's get on with the action. I'm going to get on with the bottom of this part first because it just can't work on the camera right. So um, it's really good at the bottom and stuff like there's a piece of wood down there a stick and a little bit of water and there's a frog I like frogs especially Lego frogs so I like that and there's some seaweed growing from the um, place and now we'll get on with the top so here is the top of the part and it is really good so you can probably see it's a train track and stuff so it really looks good so here is the top of the part of the set and it is really good so you can probably see it's a train track and stuff I'll show you what that little red part does in a second just showing 360 view there's not much really that this can do except this it can fall up and down up and down because back up blows it up and now I'll get on with the back up vehicle that is really awesome so here it is without in attack mode. So here is a sticker 
obviously, and it says super secret police. So if you're a super secret police, you would obviously put big bold writing on the side of your car, super secret police. And here are the jets and stuff. And look, it also says super secret police over there. So here's the code of his car, I think. And there's a logo of the super secret police. So I think that's really genius. Good job, Lego, for pointing out the obvious. You should get a thumbs up. Wait. Yeah, thumbs up. And you can open the hatch. Oh, wait. Sorry, that wasn't in the ha camera. You can open the hatch. Steering wheel. Lots of space and stuff. It's really cool. So I'll put it in attack mode. First, under here, there are two blasters hidden. So I really like that. Like just hidden blasters. So you can open it up like that and put the blasters like that. It's a really good feature how they're hidden. That's what the blasters look like side by side. A really cool vehicle to be honest. I am really like this vehicle. Pretty cool. I really, I really like it. I'm probably going to say it again. I really like it. So now I'll get on with my scores. I really like this set. So I'll get on with my scores now. This set is $40 and it is really good. Just for $40 you're getting a lot of play features like the ice cream truck, the garbage truck. I, 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 I just choose them over it but I wanted this because of Bad Cop. And just really good set. I really like it. Forty dollars. You're getting a lot. Not really minifig value. Like just two for forty dollars. Yeah, where the others are coming with three or four. So yeah. Um. So I'll get on with the scores now. Just was talking. Build. It's a good build. Pretty good build. So, um, for the build, I'm probably going to give it a 85%. Minifigs, they're alright. Backup's really good. Emmett's overused in most of these sets, but he is the main character, so that makes sense. So I'm going to give that 80%. For the playability, it's really good and stuff. I really like it. So, 85%. This is being Brickmaster101. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. Hope you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.